I have seen a, a security hologram of him killing younglings. Not TK Legends. I'm a beautiful princess, come on. And I said TK Legend didn't kill any younglings. End of story. Well then you can suck my rusty old metal attack boat, you try hard Jedi bitch. Cause I killed a lot of younglings. Oh my god. About 10,000 now. Um, I'm going to give you guys some tips, tricks and plays around the first base of Parasol Storm Rush. I know my voice is fucked up to do commentaries, but please have mercy on my soul. Get over here! <laughs> 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 right now. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. So people, we start off this highlight attack boat tips and tricks commentary tutorial massacre video with the setup you will definitely need to use against infantry like here on Parasol Storm Rush. There is of course a whole bunch of other setups you can use while fighting other boats or LAVs like on Parasol Storm or Lansing Dam Conquest. So, as a primary weapon, take the 30mm cannon, don't take the burst cannon or the 25mm cannon, since you really need the extra damage and the splash damage of the 30mm cannon. Secondary weapon, Zuni rockets of course, don't take the TOW missile or the TV guided missiles against infantry guys. I still see more people use a TV missile against infantry instead of the Zuni rockets. Anyway, um, for the countermeasure, active protection. Uh, for the optics, those are really important guys. Do not use anything else than the zoom optics. And for the upgrade, you can pick thermal camo against aggressive teams with javelins or maintenance against wannabe 360 degrees RPG no scope hose. Alright. I joined this game quite late, but still managed to get 111 kills, so yeah, that was okay. Anyway, if you entered your boat and you're ready to go, you should always shoot one bullet with your primary weapon and a rocket with your secondary weapon. This will add another 15 bullets and 8 rockets to your ammo capacity after a short while. Just a simple hint that gives you a little advantage in the early stage of the game. So as you might see here, there we go, 59 bullets and rockets, 15 rockets, there we go. Also, I would like to explain to you guys what an attack boat actually means. I still see people waiting at the base two miles away from the actual battle and try to make kills from there with that V missiles. And um... Yeah, attack means something like um... One, two, boom! Teeth in! Now everyone that is watching this video knows what attack means. It means offensive, it means aggressive, it means that you gotta be the dominant pack leader of the game. Start off with an aggressive playstyle and let them know you are right on their heels with lots of firepower. Firepower! Fuck. <coughs> Sorry. Um, even if you get locked by javelins and get overruled by RPGs in the beginning, don't be scared, because there are some pretty nice spots on Parasol Storm Rush to hide from the enemy. Uh, I'll be showing you those spots in a minute. Uh, I know a lot of people will call this base raping, but you don't really got a choice since the only spawn spots are at the back of the deck and in a rib boat, so yeah. Mm, so this is a pretty old clip and I didn't know the thing with the bullets and rockets yet, as you might see here that I've got zero rockets left. Just a couple of bullets, but this clip does show you the offensive playstyle right in the beginning of the game. They were all like, Oh no, he's so offensive and so dangerous. Let's all spawn again and try to kill that pussy boat. Damn it, damn it. And then we die again. We will do spawn again. Now, like I said, you might get hit by a couple of RPGs or javelins in the beginning, but don't worry, just navigate to the end of the deck. A great spot to hide, except against enemies with C4. Um, these are also just a couple of clips to show you that I'm always trying to be the dominant pack leader of the game. And so should you. Um, even if you miss almost every single shot in the beginning, um, you will get their attention and they will try and damage you instantly. 
that's the moment you should kill them all. Make those, make those useless souls of the earth suffer. Let them feel the terrible spawn time they have to face again over and over. If you have no mercy on the souls, you can get 60 kills and 0 deaths before you move on to base B. Um, for beginners using the attack boat, it's going to be difficult to control the waves, making use of the waves, and especially the bullet drop of the 30mm cannon and the Zuni rockets. But you learn this by just playing a lot with the attack boat, I guess. Also remember you got bullets with massive splash damage, so if you see an enemy like this one here, just give it a go and you'll see that your splash damage will do the work. Um, I'm in a pretty good position here to take them out since there were no enemies with C4 in this game. But um, as you can see here I'm just moving backwards to get an open view of the whole deck. That's, that's not bad but uh, these, these clips are made in the beginning of my road to the number one spot in the world with the attack boat. So I didn't really found out yet that this is one of the worst things you can do against enemies with javelins or straws. I do keep my eyes on the enemy and that's a good thing but then I decide to panic like a gremlin. It's pretty important not to panic in an attack boat. Now the enemy sometimes got a transport helicopter. If you're already familiar with the bullet drop and the time it takes the bullet to reach its target, then you can easily shoot the helicopters down. Um, like I said a few seconds ago, it's stupid to go to open water with your attack boat with javelins locking your ass. But in this case, I know I got a repairer with me and that I'm not that far from a good hiding spot. Also, uh, I got a extra protection left, so... But still, after watching this clip, it would have been better to just use the boost on my attack boat to go to the back of the deck nice and safe. But this spot is okay too. Careful you don't get burned there. That's some weird shit right there. So these are most of the hiding spots around base A, Paris Storm Rush. Uh, the first spot is behind a big ship like you saw in a previous clip. Uh, the second spot is at the back of the deck. Like I've shown you before, it's definitely my favorite one. <laughs> Look at him. He's so confused. <laughs> oh man. Priceless, priceless. Number three and four are right behind some rocks. You are not only safe from incoming projectiles, but these two spots are also really good for jet ski deployments to use for flanking the enemy since they can barely see you. And number 5 is right in front of me, just behind the overhanging deck. Um, if you don't really like making a lot of kills in first person shooters, then number 6 is the perfect spot for you and your attack boat. So in this video I just wanted to show you guys how to start off like a beast on Perils of Storm Rush with the attack boat. Uh, for the ones who just want some more kills with the attack boat, this is a perfect way to do it. Uh, for myself, I do like conquest maps more, but this is a nice way to learn about the attack mode. I'm going to make some more of these tips and tricks commentaries of me demolishing the other three defenders bases. If you guys like it, of course. Um, I hope you'll find this video informative and of course pretty cool. Always remember to be the dominant back leader of the game. Okay, let me show you how to express the dominant energy. What I've done is I've brought over some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ooh, Colonel. I am going to eat first because that is what the pack leader does. Give, give me the chicken. G give me some chicken. <laughs> what are you doing? I want chicken. Give me some goddamn chicken. I am not going to acknowledge the child's attempt at aggressive dominant behavior. Now you eat the chicken. Ma'am, give me, give me some chicken. I want some chicken, ma'am. We won't reward him until he's in a calm, submissive behavior. God damn it! I am not a dog. Give me the chicken. G give, give me the chicken. I want the chicken. Chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. I will also be uploading at least one video every week from now on. I've got a full time job so it's going to be difficult but I'm just going to do my best. I'm not only going to upload videos of the Battlefield genre but also some old games I've been playing for the last couple of years. Um, I'm not going to force you to share this video or like it but it will help me since I'm now really starting to make a nice channel. If you got any questions about the attack boat or this channel or whatever just put a comment down below. Tot de volgende keer maar weer. Wende kutkinderen met jullie dure computers. Doei!